What's the age gap again? Five. Does it matter? That's we're up to you to decide. We're in a fantasy land where a bunch of princes are trying to court this kid because she's so smart because she said she's a reincarnation. It's <laughs> they kissed. Dodge this, Alicia, if you don't want this. To quote ReZero. She didn't dodge, because she probably fucking too sick. She probably passed out. She has like a fever. She can't hear shit. And then the prince gives like, you know, mouth to mouth to get the medicine in. It's low-key. No, it's not low-key. It's really weird, but that's not, it's, it's anime land. Plus, it's in a different setting. So what am I supposed to do? The important plot points is um, the poverty-stricken place. Basically, everyone is branded as criminals. Alicia's even given her own opinion about how this is unfair. We want to change the uh, society system where instead of bureaucracy and nepotism, meaning if you're a son, if you're basically born by the right family, then you get to live these nice lives. No, it should be about people who deserve it so that the poor children, if they're smart, then they can have the same kind of chance to succeed in this kind of world. We also know there's like a grandpa who we call our uncle, right? Wait, is it an uncle or a grandpa? I forget, but he's like a very important person who most likely got called out by... There's a guy that's like kind of grayish silver hair who's like a hater amongst the dads. I think he probably is the shitty noble that, you know, uh, anytime you speak out against the status quo, you're going to get admonished because it threatens their power, right? So that's kind of like what's happening right now. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, also, I just realized, I, I just realized. You know what I just did there too, right? See what I just did there about... Oh my god, Alicia's being groomed by these princes, right? Are, are we forgetting that she's a re reincarnation? Well, like, like she was already... Who, who knows how she old she was back on Earth? But you know how like the same kind of like concept gets applied to, let's say, Rudius from Mushoku Tensei or other isekais where an old dude like dies and then he carries on this mental age and then reborn and then you know children like no one actually brought that up because we're always fixated on if the guy is doing to the girl rather than the girl doing to the guy because that's like the normative position right i thought that was kind of interesting <laughs> i like that she might enjoy that i i i think that she's the one grooming duke prince yeah this is not this child no, 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 no. This, this is a grown-ass woman, bro. What are we doing here? Being a villain. That's right, where's she at? The sage. Let's bully her today. The villainous and trespassing. We gonna pick on the new girl today? I wanna fuck her up. I haven't even met her yet. This is where a prince shows up and guides you. NPC gardeners. CGI NPC gardeners. Sage. Heroin! There she is. Yo. Ugh, I hate how nice she is. I hate how nice she is that she makes me realize what a piece of shit I am. That part hate- that- because she's making me realize how bad I am, I'm gonna hate her even more. Yup. She's so tall. Aww. She's the one, man. That's your main antagonist, yes. Okay. How are we gonna have a chance to be evil to her? This is too nice. We're getting, we're becoming friends already. I'm gonna feel too bad at this rate. What are we doing? He's too nice. Fuck. She's getting me, bro. Her kindness is overwhelming. And she's the exact type of person we're trying to protect and help out. To make sure that even common people, based on their merits, can, you know, achieve success. Like, this is messed up. I, what are we gonna do? Yeah. She gone. Bye bye. She can't get caught. This is a bad start. You are. This is a terrible villainess. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, you can live. Glaze. <laughs> oh, wow. Filthy commoner and an elite noble prince. A love that defies class. I love this so much. Something about the description is funny that she said it out loud. They're gonna get together at this rate. Okay. What about the hall monitor? Maybe someone's gonna find her. I can't read that shit. Alicia popping off? Huh. This little child is solving this super hard problem. Hey, that's literally what we solved yes last episode. It's the black hair guy's sister. Yeah, it's Liz. Sorry, Alicia. She's writing out a whole ass thesis, bro. It's like a PhD, man. She ain't ten though. She's like probably minimum twenty something, thirty maybe. I just wanted to be, you know, very stealthy and not make any noises and make sure no one knows me. Oh, I'm gonna write up a whole fucking essay about this problem that no one can solve. Tee hee. Alicia, you, you try to get caught at this point. Divergent. Are, our daughter? Divergent. Me, the divergent. I think that he's just scared. Again, it's the same gray hair guy, right? This dude is super scared of his powers getting pulled underneath due to this new system that Alicia is proposing. But like he's probably making shit up about divergent, but we also know that Alicia is not a normal person. What is a diversion? You can do that? You can just erase memories? I don't think that's gonna work. Smart. Smart. Intentionally make it look like you were ignorant by making it seem like you understood that person being a divergent is not us, which I'm sure she knows, but rather Liz. Now he's gonna be like, okay, maybe I don't have to wipe the memories because you have the wrong idea. Alright? Unless she actually misunderstood, at least that's the way I interpreted it. Today, a little bit. Huh. Maybe I misunderstood that. It truly felt like Alicia was understanding that uh, it's perhaps me that's a divergent because he has something against her because of that. But then again, Cather Liz is also a quote unquote peasant showing up. I just overread it. And like, why would she, but like, why would he stop the memory erasing part, right? That's the thing I was confused on because he's like, oh shit, you overheard us. Let's erase the memories. And then what? She guessed correctly who the girl is, and then he refuses to wa waste the memories? That, that part doesn't make sense to me, right? How he quickly turned back was like, oh, you had the missed idea. I don't have to erase it. That's how I took it. Maybe he did feel that way. And she's also... Yeah, I... I, I <laughs> Thank you. I forgot the intermission scenes are actually pretty sweaty. Yeah, I think that she misinterpreted it. But we got lucky. So what I said is correct, but she blundered and got away with it. Amazing. Dark magic level 10. Dark magic allows you to do that? Who's everyone? Liz here? Yes, she is. Yo. True. Wow, this is fate. Literally. Her saying fate is fate. It looks like he's been conquered. 
君も座るといいございます今日は学園祭の出し物を決めようお邪魔になりますわねいやそうだから That guy's dad That guy's dad hates us もし何か案があったら聞かせてくれ確かデートおお。What are we supposed to do? Sabotage their date? She should just ask him to the fucking. Okay. Yeah, she should just get in there. She should straight up just ask out Duke to go on that date instead of Liz. That's a villainous thing to say. That's a very cliche villainous line. Dignity as a villainess? I think a villainess would go out of their way to shit on somebody of a lower class simply because they're born in a higher class. I think a villainess is 100% do that. Would a villainess play fair and square? Alicia's definition of villainess is very. It's very clean. It's very polite. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. We're literally getting on with Duke to prove a point. Even if we don't love him, it doesn't matter. Our goal is to sabotage the girl, so yes. She's too kind. She's too nice. The only moving animation their eyes and the mouth are lazy. That is true. But Blue Lock doesn't even do that. Blue lock, literally, all the thoughts are in their heads. Nothing is moving but the soccer ball. Okay. A talent show? Let's see. She's down? Might backfire, actually. What the hell? We're just gonna make her look even cooler. Alicia, you suck at this. She loves you, man. Boy, Duke's on her side. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, the vibes are off now. Oh. oh, she's crying. Told you. The, fir the first. She's too nice. It's. Or I'm already cooked. I feel bad. I shouldn't feel bad. I should feel like a villain, ready to just make her cry and. Make her feel terrible, but now it's like we start off in the right foot. It, it's too it, it, her it first impression. It was too good. It was too good. Now we're cooked. Uh, I'm not forcing myself. She's an angel. She's an actual angel, bro. Alright, let's become best friends with her so we can hate her. We're definitely going on stage together to pop off. The Black Rose. Macaroons. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite number? Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa. Wait. Did you actually sit in the same room for like four hours listening to these same dumb questions? I thought it was just those two in the room. Everyone else was in here? What's your favorite flower? What's your favorite color? And jeez, everyone was here just listening to this. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you can use magic. Low key, you're gonna like make her fall for you. What if she gets conquered? Why are we limiting ourselves to just the guys? What if the true ship is these two? Yeah, she's 10. I know. I know she's 10. She could use maybe level 25 magic. Who knows? Divergent mentioned again. Divergent mentioned again. Maybe in this world, a divergent is a term used to describe people who may or may not be otome game reincarnations where they start acting out at such a young age. Alicia is not the first person to steer off the script of this game. That's what I'm thinking. And she didn't know either. She got lucky there at the end, yes. No, I think we should worry about this. 
Alicia's in danger. Yo, Unk, what, what's diversion? Publicly executed. Unable to ever use magic again? I wonder if the person we're talking about is this guy right now. I, I don't know. I just think that this is such an important person that he might be talking about stories on other people's behalf, but it's actually him. But if you, if you attempt stronger magic, you could never use magic again. So always try to cast magic that's in your range. So it's a good idea that we didn't try that 25 bullshit before. <laughs> Don't skip. Alright. Let's go step by step. But what's diversion? Hey, the kid we healed last episode. Yo. He looks kinda mad. Oh, what the fuck? Off to the streets. I saved this dumbass. This is what I get? No, I'm sure he's gonna be fine. You just gotta get corrected. Hello, redemption. She would overwhelm him with kindness. Yeah. And we got a beautiful look, but a deadly poison beneath. That's ours. Yeah, but you're not her. Don't be like her. You should give him the fucking hard, bitter truth about the reality. Of course. The heroine does what the heroine can. You're limited to being a villainess. <laughs> <laughs> this is even better than I thought. This, this is better than I thought. I'm like, you can't be the nice girl. Don't be the nice girl. Just tell him the bitter truth. But this is not a bitter truth. You tell him to just end yourself? Yeah. Damn. Maybe she said. <laughs> she really approaching it my way. I'm beginning to think that, like, I should be a villainess. I'm realizing now that my entire personality type is a villainess and I never fucking knew. She's saying exactly everything that I probably would have wanted to say. Just like the bitter, cold fucking truth, the black pill take of like, Yeah, it fucking sucks. What are you gonna do about it, pussy? Yeah, I'm yapping too. Mm -hmm. Based. <laughs> Based. <laughs> okay. I'll end you. Damn! <laughs> what the Gramps is thinking right now? What, what, what is Gramp, Grandpa Will thinking right now? Where it's like, this kid is a demon. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I cleaned it. Nice. Thank you. Yo, her skill's gonna be so useful. That skill is like, you might think it's pointless to just clean shit. It's an instant laundry! Imagine all these people here that have shitty clothing and bedding and everything. It's such a convenient and useful skill to have around. Alright. He's fighting back. He's got the fighting spirit. There it is. Wow. Because I'm the villainous. He is the talented genius kid, right? I don't know if they know that term villainous here because that's like an ultimate game term, you know, popular jargon amongst people that play these games. But like, that was fantastic. That's pretty much like exactly how I might have went on about it because I'm a fucking demon. It's like bad cod, good cop, right? You give him the harsh fucking realities of the world. And while it may sound mean at a first glance, you realize that this is actually some hard words that maybe you do need to listen to. And then offer a solution. Yeah. That's a bit strange. And she's way different. And it worked out. Shota gained. Oh, uh, thank you. Wow. I guess he's just gonna be like the little brother type? Oh, the boss. The big boss. Cap. That's right, the golden rose. All magical elements. Damn. I thought she could only use light magic. 
We also have a black rose, though. That's right. The example of Grandpa Will told us. Okay, then I can just hunt her down. Wait, I thought this is just gonna be a fun little fucking talent show. Magic performance. And during the rehearsals, she she tries something she shouldn't have. And now she's magic list? Insane revelation. Bro, this is an insane plot point. What? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got a bit too excited. Why are you saying that good? Aren't you villainous? You should be upset. Rival? Alright, alright. You want like competitive spirit. <laughs> you underestimate me, Oni chan. It was all up according to my plan. Amazing. Yeah? Nice, we don't have to wait till 15. Three more years then. Well, we'll be like a junior when they're like almost in senior year then, huh? She's like teaching the kids too. We 13 now, boys. 13, the age of Kotori and Data Live in the beginning. そうか、不得した。100。おおマイガード。大丈夫だな。約束通り学園への入学を。期待以上だな。約束通り学園への入学を。君に頼みがある。その監視役を。Watcher。頼まれてくれないか。そう、Watcher。not a bodyguard? What's a watcher? Were you just gonna be watching her? And that's another episode of uh, I'll Become the Finest Villainous. And this one was uh, definitely a switch up. Last episode felt a little bit more lore dump exposition set up. Today, there was kind of a pop off, right? The pop off moment came from Alicia saying, hey, maybe you should just die. <laughs> maybe you should just end yourself right now, kid. In fact, I'll help you do it. You know, you're gonna be a pussy. You're gonna fucking wah, wah, woe is me. I can put you out of your misery. And the kid's like, you know what? No. And at the end of the day, you know, Alicia's trying to be a villain. She has her own way of doing things. Sometimes I think that she's a bit too kind because I think that she is very kind. I think that even though she shits on the heroine, you know, the uh, main heroine and has these ambitions for being a villainess, everything she does is actually so righteous and full of justice, but maybe a villainess doesn't need to do acts that go against that kind of justice, right? It's all about the attitude. It's all about like how you do it. And if you kind of think of it that way, then yeah, Alicia definitely is a villainess. We learned about what a divergent is. And even though so far it's looking like Alicia was the topic of who a divergent is. And I misinterpreted a scene. I thought Alicia herself was lying after she figured out quickly that it was her that she was being talked about rather than Liz. But, you know, interpret this wrong and thinking that it was Liz that was, you know, divergent. Maybe convince these old men to not erase her memory. So Liz is mana. It's kind of getting out of control. Apparently we have her shit together and we're going to be her watcher now, which just creates more opportunities for us to kind of like stalk and have more villainous shows where you like fuck up the heroine. I'm not really sure, but I think the show is cooking slowly but surely. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.